happy weekend so it is saturday afternoon around lunchtime just had a little snack <laughs> by a little snack i mean three quarters of a cantaloupe in case you saw the pile of rinds anyway that's not the point that's not what i'm going to tell you about <laughs> we are building a little dresser for the baby today we have presents here from a little baby shower um that we just had last night which was so sweet um, so it's nice to be collecting things that will stay here and we'll have another baby shower in the States too when we go back, but, um, it's nice to have like the big bulky baby bathtub and then like diapers to stay here and then a couple, a few cute things and, um, you know, baby wipes and baby shampoo and all those things to have ready here. And then we got this beautiful toy. Look at this, it's such a cute little thing. I'll put like a little play mat underneath. Let's see, what else have we done this weekend? Literally just hanging laundry. Let me think, I FaceTimed my parents this morning, which was really nice, and my little sister, and then some friends as well. So we were on FaceTiming for a long time. It was so nice. Okay, Jimmy's waiting for me, um, but I just wanted to show you guys. I finished the dresser. The top part is um, catching a little bit. So Jimmy's trying to figure out how to loosen that part up. Um, but we took a break to go have a nice um, Saturday lunch at an Indian restaurant near our house. So I am so scatterbrained. And then I think we're gonna go shopping, so. I'll show you the scenery on the right, I think.
bacon. Ooh. Wow, that smells so good. We're gonna have to trade some bites. We'll need that. <laughs> <laughs> along now and it is really busy in here so I'm not gonna talk to the camera very much but I will show a little bit before this phone dies. <laughs> Get like American ones and then weird ones that are like squid flavored. Dried fruit. We have like freeze dried jackfruit and I, um, I really like this hawthorn. Hawthorn and strawberry, hawthorn and blueberry. And then this is hawthorn candy. And they have <laughs> Chicken feet. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is that? Um, hearts. Delicious. Oh, that's the neck. <laughs> Yum. Oh, and then the fish. Anyway. So it is Sunday morning now, um, and we are headed off to go meet up with some friends and um, off to make it lunch afterward. I'm pretty sure we're just going to come back here today uh, for lunch. So I just wanted to start the day off so I remember. Oh, I almost forgot. I did want to show you guys. I think I already showed the little dresser. baby's room. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. And these are all the things we bought. We have a little high chair and then this crib and a little blanket. Ooh, my finger. Where is it? And then this little um, like toy that goes over your play mat. I think I've already shown that too. Then we have this little sleeper thing. They can kind of chill out in that. That will be easy to move to the living room or different rooms of the house, you know. Um, so that's nice to have, but they can also sleep in it. So some babies are a lot more comfortable in that, apparently. I looked up this specific one. Um, they love that more than, like, any crib or bassinet, so they might end up sleeping in it at night, too. Then we've been stocking up on diapers, and some people gave us some wipes and things, and I kind of just straightened it up, and then there's the, um, bathtub, so feel better like the nesting part of me right now is feeling very um satisfied right now <laughs> lately
Okay, so sometimes this is, this vlog will be full of scenery and weird food or something like that, and then sometimes it's just going to be like a vlog and it'll just be my thoughts right then. Um, and I'm going to try to not feel bad about that. <laughs> I always feel like I will bore people, but um, I want to make the videos something that I enjoy too and share whatever I'm thinking. So anyway, um, the thing that was on my mind today um, was just gratefulness specifically about the pregnancy. And I mean, it's not just a pregnancy, it's a child, you know, um, really realizing that sometimes um, it starts to feel like a condition, <laughs> just like an illness or something like that. I mean, even with the baby moving, you know, it's like, it's so cool to feel the baby move and um, it is very special, but still sometimes it's just like, oh, I'm just so much more tired than I used to be and I'm just miserable and I have to eat every hour and a half pretty much or I get like my stomach hurts and I get angry. <laughs> like just now I was just having such a hard time being like, pa I, I want to say like patient with Jimmy, but he wasn't doing anything and I wasn't even mad at him. I was having a hard time just being patient with life basically. The fact that my food wasn't ready yet <laughs> because we had just walked into the door and um, I know it's ridiculous and it's not a condition, it's not an illness, it's not a disease, um, it's a child, and I need to be grateful. There's, uh, I'm a part, I'm a member of this group on Facebook, and they, like, will share videos of their birth and things like that, so I thought it was cool. Um, and then they also have a group, like a sister group, where they post a lot of questions and things. So, one lady... Uh, last night, I think, she just posted this really emotional uh, post on that page. And you could tell she was just, um, she wasn't thinking about what she, what she was saying. She was just full of emotion right then. In, like, very much in the moment where when it was still happening. It wasn't, um, her reflecting on these experiences, you know. And it was just, it was very, very raw. And, um... She was at the hospital giving birth to her baby at 22 weeks because she hadn't felt it move in three days. So she just went in to get checked up and see if everything was okay. And um, she had to give birth to that baby. And she was just saying, um, <laughs> I don't want to cry. She was just saying, be grateful. Like she wasn't nasty, but she was just like, be thankful that you're still pregnant. Every time you are hurting um, because of the pregnancy or you're uncomfortable, <laughs> be grateful and thankful that you're uncomfortable because it means that your baby's still alive. And right now I'm sitting in the hospital um, getting ready to, I think they were inducing her right then. Um, and then later she posted a picture with a picture, uh, she posted a picture of her holding her son, <laughs> and um, she was just spending some time with him, and then she would have to say, she knew she was going to have to say goodbye and leave him at that hospital um, <laughs> to be disposed of, um, in a sense, and I'm not even sure exactly how they do that, I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that you have options. <laughs> you can probably bury the child if you want or different things. I don't know. I'm sure they try to be considerate and sensitive, but it doesn't make it any easier. She had to say goodbye to her baby boy. Um, and that kind of thing, it happens so fast. It's not happened to me, but this whole pregnancy, you know, you go through this mental process of, of um, preparing yourself for this child. And it's a good thing. I've, I've been thinking lately, like, it's a good thing it's nine months, even though it feels like forever. Because you really can feel much more mentally prepared um, 
it kind of becomes more and more and more real to you as you start, you know, buying things and preparing materially, and then it starts moving. Um, you can mentally prepare yourself for this, and that's what she's been doing until 22 weeks. Um, you know, she's having this child. And then only with, you know, she has a couple of dates where she doesn't feel it move. And then things happen very, very fast. Um, and then she's holding, <laughs> holding the baby far sooner than she thought she was going to be um, and saying goodbye. So I don't know if I'll edit that <laughs> down um, to less because it's hard to, I don't know if I could, take parts out if the story would make sense, and I don't know if I could retell the story any faster, but um, <sighs> this morning, um, our friends and uh, we, our friends and we, <laughs> maybe, we were talking about um, the Israelites and just the timeline of how quickly they forgot um, all that God had done for them. Really, it was so fast, like, they were in Egypt, and they saw all the things that God did for them, and he brought them from Egypt, brought them out of being slaves, um, and took care of them, you know? Ah, there's just so, so many details, but, you know, he, he brought them out of there, and then really it was only a, a couple weeks, and they were already complaining because they missed, like, the fresh vegetables and the, you know, the garlics and the leeks of Egypt, the cucumbers and the melons that they had enjoyed and like oh why are we out here in this wilderness but they were being rescued and they had just <laughs> they were just rejoicing for, because they were being rescued from being slaves and they could be their own nation and it was really only a couple weeks later and i that was the first time i'd realized that and then um you know shortly after moses goes up on the mountain to get the Ten Commandments, and they're left alone, and, um, I might, I might say something wrong, but basically, it wasn't that long after that, that they, um, you know, God dealt with them about their hearts, and then, like, they're just worshiping the idols, and the timeline of how quickly all of that happened, I had never, ever realized, um, a lot, it seems like a lot of the 40 years is after a few of these stories where they were complaining. It wasn't like 10 years and then they had complaining hearts again. It was like two weeks, a month. <laughs> so um, just talking about that this morning and then think, realizing how I've been um, feeling internally. I don't know how much I've been um, complaining. I, I definitely have been some. <laughs> I've really been trying not to, but even when I'm trying to not voice it all the time, it's still frustration, you know, building up. I just want this. As of 24 weeks, you know, like about a week ago, I already started telling Jimmy, like, I just want this baby out. <laughs> and um, that's pretty bad. <laughs> we still have 15 more weeks to go. And... I need to be patient, and I need to be grateful that it is still in there. It's not out yet because it's not ready. Anyway, those are just all the thoughts that have been going through my mind yesterday and today due to that Facebook post and then, like, the conversation today. It's just really good. Um... <laughs> So this is Monday morning now, and um, this will probably be like the last clip. We just got some baba from this little bit, um, 
breakfast stand, but it's not the typical lady, so she makes it like after you come up, so it's taking a little bit longer. Our normal lady in the little pink one um, isn't there, but I really want to show you guys sometime because she's so cute and she always is so fast and she knows exactly what Jimmy likes, so it's so easy. They put egg in it. Oh, so good. It's basically a pancake. A what? Pancake. Oh, I thought you said a man cake. Like, a masculine pancake. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you are so ridiculous. That thing that looks like pizza dough that she just set down is the baba, and then it puffs up. Yay, last one.